too fine to be worrying about money, Nara, Deji said as he reached out to hold her hand. Let me take care of you, he continued. Lara laughed in exchange for what she thought. But you are married to a beautiful wife and four children and that's not the kind of complicated relationship I'm looking to introduce to my already complex life. How does that matter, Lara? Deji responded. Yes, I'm married. In fact, I'm not going to lie and say I don't love my wife. I love my family and I'm not trying to introduce anything that is going to jeopardize any of that. How will taking a mistress not jeopardize your family life? Lara mused. Well, just so you're clear, Lara said pointedly, it will take a lot more than trips on private jets for me to consider being anyone's mistress. I'm very happy flying business. That's right, girl. I'm more interested in if the married man can buy me real estate, a stock portfolio, things that have the ability to appreciate in value and give me a sustained income, if, even after the man's interest in me has diminished. Interesting, did you said. So you are saying if I buy you property, you will be my mistress, he inquired. Ah, oh, oh. Deji, I don't want to be anyone's mistress, Lara laughed. If you dash me property, I won't say no, but I'm not in the market for a sugar daddy. I'll change your mind, Deji laughed. Just give me time. <laughs> I can't wait to read this book. <laughs> Who else is excited? Guys, if you haven't read The Smart Money Woman, you're in a long thing because The Smart Money Tribe is here and you are going to love this book. I'm really excited because it's about real women.